quick video today i'm working on my move diy weld together bumper kit it's going on my 2001 ford excursion on the other side of that fence and what i'm going to be doing today is installing these led lights by north these are their flush mount kit the one two and on the bumper you can see it has these cutouts for a three inch led light so I'm going to do a quick DIY on how I go about mounting these lights. So I'll get some tools together and then we'll go ahead and start that. So included with the, with the lights. Oh, it's got all the mounting hardware. It's got one gasket per side, as you can see right there. And it's got the necessary harness. So, Them north. It's got some information on the back. So we're, we're going to go ahead and get started on that. So this is one of the lights by themselves. It is not blue glass. That's just a protective film over it. According to the specs, it is their two inch cube. One of the things I noticed right away was that when I go to install the light in the cutout, It doesn't fit it perfectly. You're always going to see a gap at one of the corners. So no matter how you go about it, it's always going to have a gap. So I'm not a big fan of that, but they have a two inch option and a four inch option. I don't think a four inch option would fit because there's not much room on the backside. So we're going to go ahead and make this work. And I'm going to go ahead and start mounting that. I do have the lights sitting on the bumper now. It's just resting on it, not, not mounted anyway. It is eyeballed, but the way I'm going to go about mounting it, I'll have some adjustment to go up and down. So once it's mounted on the bumper, I can adjust it properly and then tighten it down. So you can see right here on the bottom corners. You could see right through the bumper, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill that in with weld and then just grind it down all nice and smooth like that. You can't see through it. So the way I'm going to go about mounting it is drilling the bumper and using rib nuts. So I don't have to use a nut and bolt to get it mounted. It'll just be a bolt. Easy on, easy off. That's the way I'm going to go ahead and do it. So first things first is I'm going to use this automatic center punch and punch all four drill holes. So I went ahead and center punched everything. Might be hard to see, but you can see the indents left from the center punch. There's one, two, three, and four. So I did the right side and the left side. Both sides are center punched. The next thing I'm going to do is do a pilot hole and then I'm going to step it up to a 3 8 hole. So can... There we go, we're all drilling down. That's a 3 8 drill hole. Both sides. I use a small drill bit, pilot hole, stepped it up to, to the next size and I kept stepping it up and I finished it off with the step drill bit right here. Went all the way up to a 3 8 And as you can see that's a m12 drill nothing heavy duty it's not even the fuel but went through the bumper took some time but got it going so next thing we're going to do is use our rib nuts and pop them in there for the rib nut tool i had this astro 1442 used it multiple times never had any issues with it so i'm going to open that up and we're going to be using an M6 by 10 rib nut because that's the hardware it came with. That's the rib nut tool. And that's the die we're going to be using. We got the tool assembled, we got the die in place, and we got the rib nut in place. So I'm going to go ahead and pop the first one in. You just throw the rib nut in that hole, and let's see if I can film this. 
get one squeezed and we go ahead and we tighten it up. Tighten it up one more time. Now we'll just remove it. And you can see that, you'll be able to see that the rib nut is in place. It's not popping out. Filmed a quick time lapse on inserting these rib nuts. Really easy to do once you drill everything out to the proper size. Finish both sides. So that's quick. So this is the hardware that comes with each light. You got these uh, a bowl washer and a lock nut. Kind of difficult if you're by yourself. You have to go into the truck, reach around through the back, pull the tool in the front. But with the rib nuts, all you need now is the bolt. So this is just a quick mock-up. It's not the final product, but we're gonna get this bolt right here. Pass it through one of the rib nuts. This other one over here. Do the same thing. So now you can actually install this with one hand. No need to go under the truck. So you just go get your bolt, pass it through the rib nut. Like I said earlier, there is some adjustment. Run back and forth up and down so ideally you would install each bolt with some thread locker on there and yeah it's that quick it's that easy same thing over here pop that light in place rib nuts are in place you would just pass a bolt all four corners and you're all set Like I stated earlier, this isn't the final product. This is just mock-up purposes for the video. That's one light. That's the second light. Still got to grind down all the welds and smooth it up, but that's going to be the finished product on the bumper. As you can see here, I also use rib nuts for my license plate mounting. So same thing easy thing to do you drill it out to whatever size is necessary for the rib nut you're going to use i use m6 by 10 so i drill it out to 3 8 drop the rib nut in use the rib nut tool squeeze it in place and you're set really easy to do highly recommend it There you go.